Ah uh, yes, 2NURFM, good times, great music, and there certainly were some great songs in that little segue there. Last train to Clarksville, of course, from the Monkees. Uh, before that, bless him, John Farnham and a touch of paradise. Uh, John, we do hope that you're feeling much, much better and you get out of hospital very soon. Very sad news to find out that he's uh, having a bit of a difficult time with that nasty cancer. Uh, before that, of course, Curiosity Killed the Cat, Little River Band, and there's a little story that I must tell you. Yes, I probably sound very pommy here in Australia, uh, but believe you me, over in Europe, I sound like a real Australian. Uh, plus, I love the word g'day. I've used it for years and I use it over there all the time. Uh, so at some stage there, they actually called me g'day day. That was my nickname. Uh, but I got on an aircraft from Malaga to London and a lovely old lady sat next to me and she noticed when we started chatting that I had an Australian accent. Now, how many times has this happened to you whereby somebody knows that you're from somewhere? Oh, do you know so-and-so? And there's like 28 million people there, whatever it is. And she said to me, do you know my nephew? I said, oh, well, what's his name? His name's Glenn Shorrock. And I said, as it turns out, yes, I do. I knew he was the singer with Little River Band, but I'd also met him down in Threadbow when they played down there spontaneously up in the Schuss Bar of the Alpine Hotel. And of course, they used to go there quite a lot skiing. So out of all the millions of people in Australia, I sat next to Glenn Shorrock's auntie. Bless her. It's 25 to 3 now.